Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Prefix 28. Prefix today is just a, uh, you know, sometimes we can see it as a small a, sometimes as a large a. All right, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. The prefix a uh, is used at the beginning of some adjectives to signify that the new adjective does not have that feature or quality indicated. All right, let's continue. Um, a capital A as a prefix often indicates the first or best of something. All right, we also have this. Uh, the prefix A can also mean on or in or in such a state or condition or in such a manner. All right, let's continue. The A prefix derives from Latin and the Greek uh, or the Greek letter alpha. Okay. All right, and we have a number of examples here. So atypical, yeah, we hear this one a lot, means not usual or not typical. So yeah, we have a lot of prefixes that make a word kind of have the opposite meaning. So typical would be very common, but if it's atypical, it means that it is not common. He is a bit strange. He has uh, atypical behavior. So very be behavior that's not common or not ordinary. All right, asexual, that's another one that comes up a lot. Having no sexual organs or having no interest in sex. Well, more with the second part. Um, he never had any interest in sexual partners. He is asexual. Okay, good. Apolitical, uh, not interested in politics or not connected with a political party. Okay, again, the second one is probably more common when people want to stress that they don't support either political party. So he says he doesn't support any political party. He is apolitical. Yeah. Okay, good. Asymptomatic. Oh, yeah. The last two years we've heard this word a lot of times. Uh, showing no physical signs of a disease. Coronavirus had an unprecedented number of asymptomatic cases. Yeah, I mean, they did exist before with some of the diseases, but they were very, very rare, you know, in the very small percentage like less than 1% usually, or very small percent. But with the coronavirus, asymptomatic cases, depending upon where they were and when they were, sometimes they were 50, 60, 70, 80% of the cases, you know, people had no symptoms, no fever, no cough, no nothing. But the test said, oh, you got coronavirus. So we had many, many asymptomatic cases. All right, let's go on. Uh, all right, now with like the capital A. So A-list, this is a common one. We especially use it for celebrities. Uh, A-list of names who are among the best or most famous. So Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are A-list actors. Yeah, we often hear that. Somebody, they could be among the A-list celebrities. Okay, good. A-team, a group of elite soldiers or, you know, tr maybe trained police or something. Uh, there used to be an old TV show called The A-Team to fight crime. They got this group together. Uh, if you ever remember the old uh, Mr. T or something, that that group was called The A-Team. They were all supposedly had special skills to try to catch criminals. Okay, good. Let's go on. Um, all right, now just regular ones. Ashore, you know, on or to the land from the sea. So it's on to the land. Okay, a dead body washed ashore. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, aside, uh, on or to the side. So somebody might say, step aside and let me pass. Move, move to the side, you know. Okay, good. Asleep, in a state of sleep. So remember, sometimes it could be in a state or in a condition. Uh, he fell asleep on the couch. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.